Boy, oh boy. That is one miserable day today. I've been stuck inside for almost two days and I'm going stir crazy. You know me, I don't like being stuck inside. So rain, we're looking at about 50 to 60 millimeters they're calling for. There's been a severe weather warning for almost two days now. It's about two inches of rain and high winds they're calling for. But hey, I've got a cab so I'm sheltered and I gotta get outside. Looks like I'm gonna have to take the tarp off of that and I was kinda hoping to take these limbs right from trailer and right into the chipper. But my buddy needs his trailer back so I'm just gonna grapple them out, put them down with the pile of the other ones. We'll have to chip them on another day when it's drier. And then since I figured I was out, I take a look at these stumps. I just wanna tease it out a little bit with the grapple see what kind of ground I'm looking at there and see if I have a chance of maybe getting these out with the grapple in the LX2610. Let's give her a whirl. Starting to rain a little harder, but I need to get myself outside. If you're new to the channel, this is called a root rake style grapple. It's designed actually to be pushed through the ground. That's why you see these big large tines that come to a point. There are a number of different grapples out there with different designs or built for different purposes. There's brush grapples, log grapples, a number, there's probably 10 or more different style of grapples. If you're in the market for one, I'd strongly or highly recommend that when you're looking at different types of grapples, make sure you get one where the jaw opens up really wide. There's a number of them out there that are probably well built, lots of steel in them, but the jaw doesn't open up much and you want a big wide jaw so you can grab brush like we did this earlier or if you need to get it around trees or logs or any types of things that you're lifting with that grapple. If you've got a really small mouth on it, you're not going to get a lot in that grapple.
<laughs> All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna push them with the grapple a few times just to see if there's any give, because I don't know if these are rooted shallow or rooted deep. And then I'm gonna take the grapple and I'm gonna start pushing in and starting to tease up the ground, probably three or four feet out, and I'm gonna work my way in. And we'll see if we can get some movement on these things.
<laughs> well, I think we've answered the question. <laughs> Over the last four years, I'll bet I've had at least 100 inquiries or comments on different videos from folks looking to buy a grapple asking me if you can use a grapple to dig out stumps. And the answer, as you've seen here today, is no. I have dug a couple of stumps out before that were rotted right out to the core, but that's because they were rotted. So of course they just broke apart when I pushed through the ground. But regular stumps like this, grapples are not designed to remove stumps or to dig stumps out. The fact is it's a grapple, it's not a backhoe. And even though this is a root rate grapple and it's designed to dig through, especially through gardens or different areas on the property to dig up roots, I use it for digging out rocks, it works great. But you'll notice the tines are not very long. They're very short. It's not like a backhoe or like any type of an implement with a long throw. So it has no room to be able to get in and underneath all the roots underneath the stump. It does a great job of lifting the earth and moving things around and digging it up and loosening it up around the stump, but you can't get under the stump. Guess we're gonna call neighbor Ralph. <laughs> That'll be another video. Well, trailer's on the truck. It's all cleaned up and broomed out. So I'm gonna head back, drop it off at my buddy's place. Thanks for sticking around today, I appreciate it. It's getting harder. We might get that 50 millimeters after all. I hope you enjoyed it today, and I hope that's answered that long-standing question. Great opportunity to try to show you just how the grapple does work and how it doesn't work. Have a wonderful week with your families, and please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter. I'm a wet Gord Potter, and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers.